Many legal professionals see launching their own online scheduling platform as a career milestone. At the same time, clients want easy-to-access legal services. So, building such a website can provide a solution to both needs. In this video, we'll show you how to create a lawyer booking website using WordPress without any coding skills. A lawyer booking website is an online platform where clients can quickly find the legal professionals they need and schedule appointments with them. Note that this tutorial will be useful for both lawyers who want to create their own scheduling platform and people who want to start a multi-vendor lawyer booking marketplace. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll use MeetingHive, a sleek and efficient appointment booking WordPress theme, and HivePress, a versatile WordPress plugin that will power all booking and marketplace functionalities. So, let's get started. First of all, we need to install the MeetingHive theme. Go to the Appearance, Themes, Add New Theme section. Here, click on the Upload Theme button and upload the MeetingHive zip file. Then, proceed to install and activate the theme. After installing MeetingHive, you'll be prompted to install recommended plugins, including HivePress. These plugins are essential for powering all the features on your website, so simply click on the provided link to install and activate them. Now, we need to add different law categories to create a structured layout and simplify user navigation. This will allow users to find lawyers based on their cases. For example, let's add categories such as criminal law, business law, real estate, and healthcare law. To do that, go to the listings, categories section, and name your first category. You can also enter a description, add an icon, pick a suitable color, and organize categories in a hierarchy by selecting the parent category. When you're finished, click the Add Category button. Remember, following the same steps, you can add as many categories as you need for your lawyer booking website. Next, we need to create custom listing fields to allow users to filter attorneys and view details about them. With MeetingHive, you can add as many custom fields and search filters as you want to tailor the site to your needs. For example, to help users understand whether the consultation is online or in person, let's add a setting field. To create a new listing field, navigate to the Listings, Attributes section, and click Add New. This page lets you customize your listing field in three contexts, so we'll cover each. The first section, Editing, lets you make a field editable to allow front-end editing. Then, you need to select the field type. In our example, it'll be Select. Finally, you can choose whether your field should be required or optional. In the search section, you can turn your field into a search filter, allowing users to filter listings based on its value. We'll mark our field as filterable and searchable and pick the select field type again. In the last section, display, you can define how your field will appear on the pages of your website by setting the display areas, display format, and icon. Let's choose block, secondary, and page, secondary, as display areas, pick a suitable icon, and set the following display format. Also, note that you can make any field category specific by selecting a category in which you want it to appear. If you want it to appear in all categories, leave the checkboxes empty. When you're finished, press Publish. As soon as you click Publish, you'll see the Edit Options button appear. That's because we created a field with a select field type. So, let's follow the Edit Options button and add two options, in person and online. This field will now show up in the listing submission form. Don't hesitate to follow these steps to create additional custom fields, such as free consultation, contact info, and so on. Now, let's focus on the vendor fields since some personal information about each lawyer is also needed to make a decision about booking an appointment with them. For instance, let's create the Experience Profile field, which will require lawyers to specify their work experience when registering. The process is similar to what we did with the listing fields. Go to Vendors, Attributes, Add New and write a field's name. In the Editing section, enable front-end editing, set the field type to select, and mark this field as required. In the Search section, allow users to use this attribute as a search filter by marking it as filterable and sortable and again selecting the select field type. Finally, in the Display section, define how the custom field will appear on pages by assigning it to specific areas and setting its display format. For the Experience field, 
we'll choose block, primary, and page, primary, select an icon, and use the same display format as for the listing fields. After the field is published, click the Edit Options button to add options for the experience time. Don't forget that you can add as many other fields and search filters as you need, like languages spoken, education, etc. At this point, let's expand the functionality of our platform a bit. Although MeetingHive already comes with six high press add ons included, nothing stops you from installing a few more. To do that, visit the High Press Extensions page, where you can find more than 15 High Press extensions that are fully compatible with each other. For a lawyer booking platform, you may want to install Geolocation, which enables users to search lawyers based on location, Social Login, which allows users to sign in via third party platforms, or Social Links, which adds social links to listings and profiles. To install an extension, simply click the Install button. Next, let's review some important settings in High Press, settings to ensure everything will work just as needed. For instance, in the Listings tab, you can disable new listing submissions if you prefer to be the only person adding listings to your appointment platform and creating a single vendor lawyer booking website. Similarly, you can disable manual listing moderation. Also, if you installed the social links extension, here you can choose which social media links to display. Let's proceed to the Vendors tab. By default, HivePress requires you to add at least one listing to become a vendor. However, you can enable direct vendor registration here, allowing lawyers to sign up as vendors immediately. Also, social links are available for lawyer profiles, too. Next up we have the Users tab. Here, we recommend enabling email address verification to ensure all newly registered users aren't bots. Moving on, it's necessary to visit the Bookings tab to set up the booking functionality according to your needs. For example, you can turn on syncing with external calendars or enable time-based booking slots. Finally, if you decide to add the geolocation extension, it's important to set it up. You can choose between Google Maps and Mapbox as your map provider but we recommend Mapbox due to its easy setup. All you need to do is to get a Mapbox API and insert it in the Integrations tab. Check the video description for instructions on how to get it. We've only shown you the main settings to which you should pay attention, but it's advisable to go through all the other settings as well. The next step is to create a homepage for your lawyer booking website. MeetingHive is fully integrated with Gutenberg, allowing you to easily create an attractive layout using blocks. To create a new page, go to Pages, Add New. Firstly, name the page home and come up with a header text. Then, you can start adding high press blocks by clicking the plus icon and typing high press in the search bar. For example, let's add the listing search form and listing categories blocks. You can also customize these blocks using the settings column on the right. When you're finished with editing your preferred layout, click Publish to make the page live. You can then go back to the Dashboard, Settings, Reading section and set this page as your home page by selecting it from the drop-down list. Later, you can also assign the blog page here. Now, let's visit the newly created home page and see how it looks. The design is not finished yet, although all the technical elements are in place. To further customize the look and feel, click on the Customize button. There are various sections to go through, so let's review each one. In the Site Identity section, you can set the website logo, edit the site's title and tagline, add a copyright notice, and set the site's icon. Let's quickly upload the logo. Choose your file, optionally crop it, and upload. Looks great. Hit Publish and proceed to the next section. In the Colors section, you can adjust the primary and secondary colors to match your preferences. Next, let's set an appealing header image. Click on Header Image, then Add New, and upload your chosen image. Click Publish. Looks even better. Let's move on. In the menu section, you can customize menus for different areas of your website. For example, let's add the blog page to the header. You need to have a blog page created and set as a posts page, similar to what we did with the home page. Click Create New Menu, name it, and assign it to header. Then, click Add Items, select Pages, and choose your blog page. Now, your blog is accessible to users. 
Also, if you've enabled direct vendor registration, you will need to add a lawyer registration form to your site. This form includes the required and optional fields we've added earlier. Click Add Items, Custom Links, and fill in the URL field using the following link structure, your domain slash register vendor. Of course, name it appropriately. Now lawyers can sign up in a few clicks. Click Publish and let's proceed. The Widgets section allows you to add custom widgets to various areas of your site. They're optional but useful for displaying additional content. Next, the Homepage Settings section lets you set up your homepage and posts page, which we've already done. The Fonts section allows you to select your preferred fonts from a wide range of options. Finally, in the Additional CSS section, you can add custom code snippets to further customize your website style. For pre-made PHP and CSS snippets specifically for HivePress, check the description. Let's review the page once again. It definitely looks better than before. Now let's look at how it all works from a lawyer's perspective. Click the Lawyer Registration button and complete the registration form. After entering all the details, press Save Changes to finish the registration process. And here's a lawyer's profile. Note that all the custom fields are working and displaying as we intended. Also, you can see that there are no listings at the moment, but we'll change this in the next step. Finally, let's add the first legal service listing to your website. As an admin, you can add new listings via the WP dashboard or through the front end submission form. Let's add a new listing via the front end. To add a new listing, simply click the List to Service button. You'll be taken to the listing submission page, where you'll see common fields like title and description, along with the custom fields you added earlier. In addition, some fields, such as booking options, are added by different high press add ons. Also, you can turn on manual booking moderation. Remember, this submission form is fully customizable. Simply fill out all the fields, then click the Submit Listing button, and the listing will be submitted for review. An admin can then approve or disapprove it in the Dashboard, Listings section. As we mentioned, if you prefer not to manually approve listings, you can disable moderation in the Hive Press, Settings, Listings section. Once approved, the listing will appear on the front end. Let's take a look at it. As you see, all info is here. Your website's main purpose is to book appointments with lawyers. Thus, let's finally test how this feature works. Simply select the desired day and time for an appointment. After this, click the Request to Book button. You'll be redirected to the confirmation page, where you can review your booking request and leave additional notes. If everything's correct, simply click Send Request. Once it's done, the attorney will see the booking request in his dashboard. Then, he can either accept, decline, or send a message for additional information. Simple as that. What's more, lawyers can efficiently manage their availability with the built-in calendar feature. They can block or unblock specific dates and times, giving them precise control over their schedules. Congrats, your lawyer booking website is ready. Now, we'll show how you can monetize it. There are two primary monetization methods in Meeting Hive to consider. First, you can charge lawyers for adding new listings to your platform, as well as featuring their listings for an additional fee. Another option is to earn revenue by taking a percentage of each transaction made on your platform. Let's begin with the paid listings model. First, you'll need to install the free HivePress paid listing add on. Additionally, you'll need WooCommerce to enable payments on your website. Navigate to the plugins, add new section and install the plugin. Now, we have to create WooCommerce products that will be used for payments. Let's add the first product, which will be used to charge lawyers for adding new listings. Go to WooCommerce products, add new, provide a name, for example, premium package, set the price, and mark it as virtual. After this, click Publish. Now you need to repeat the same steps to add another product that will be used to charge users for featuring their listings. Okay, let's add some listing packages to make it possible to charge lawyers when they add new listings. 
Go to the Listings, Packages section and click Add New. You can create many packages with different restrictions and prices, but for this tutorial, let's create two of them, free and premium. We'll start with a premium one. Name the package, add a description. Then, select the corresponding WooCommerce product created earlier for packages and specify the number of listings allowed. Also, you can set the listing expiration period. In the same way, add a free package without selecting a WooCommerce product. Now, let's check how it works by going to our website and submitting a listing. After clicking the Submit Listing button, you'll be redirected to the Package Selection page. If you select the Premium Package, you'll be taken to the Checkout page. That's how you can charge lawyers for adding new listings. Now, let's go to the Dashboard, High Press, Settings, Listings section and select our second WooCommerce product that will be used for the featured status in the corresponding field. Also, you can set the featuring period here. After saving changes, you can check how it works. Go to your website, visit the user dashboard, and click on the star icon near any listing to make it featured. Again, you'll be redirected to the checkout page. Now, we'll quickly guide you through setting up commissions for each successful booking on your website. To begin, install the HiPress Marketplace add-on, which is included with your Meeting Hive theme. You can download it from your purchase email and install it in the Dashboard, Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin section. Once activated, go to Hive Press, Settings, Vendors. Here, you can set two types of commissions. First, it can be a percentage that will be deducted from each successful transaction, like 5%. Second, it can be a flat fee that will be charged for each booking, like $10. You can use either type or both at the same time. Additionally, you can apply these commissions to customers, too. To do this, visit the Users tab. Congratulations! You're all set to start earning revenue from your lawyer booking platform. And that's it. We hope this tutorial has provided you with valuable insights into launching your own lawyer appointment platform. If you're still on the fence about what theme to choose, consider MeetingHive. It offers a comprehensive solution that is ready to use out of the box, 